Hey everybody, this is Jeremy with uh, Flies and Guides. We're going to tie Davy Watt and Shad. This fly is pretty fun to tie and it's fairly easy. Um, the way I like to fish it is with a sinking line, stripping it back to me, or I like to dead drift it during the shad kill below the dams. Um, so let's get started. The hook I'm going to be using is going to be a pencil popper hook in a size 2. I use a size uh, 4 as well, but I am I really like the 2 the best. I think it's just got a little bit more gape. It's a bigger fly, it's a bigger hook, and it seems to be the shad are about this size. But the bass love this size too. So, we're going to get some Arctic Fox. I have to get a new package out here. We're going to cut at the hide there at the very bottom of it. We're going to get these guard hairs out of it. We want that tail to be even. I'm going to pull the excess out. Just makes it easier for, uh, for tying it down. Not as bulky. Make your little cut. I like to uh, match about from that hump down to here to be the length of the tail on the back. Secure that down a little bit. This is a mono 0 0.006, just to let you know. I'm gonna get some flash, wing and flash. Tie that down a few times, fold that back. And this is right on the top. Now I'll make sure that this is where I want it to stop back here. Tie it a little bit more back there, cut that tail, I mean the, the flash, a little longer, a little past the uh, Arctic Fox. From here we're just going to fill this bite in with a little bit of, this is prism dubbing, UV. Sometimes I'll glue a, a, a rattle right here, which is pretty cool. Hook's long enough to where you can put a rattle there. And the ones I use are those skinny ones with like the, the three BBs inside. And fairly, you know, don't don't go crazy with dubbing. You want a slim body because you're going to slide a flexi cord type of material over it, so you don't want it to be bulky. And you don't want to put a lot of bulk as you're trying to tie in the dubbing. Keep it fairly sparse, and it'll adhere to that mono. A little more dubbing right here. And then we're going to put some gill up there with some dubbing. Another prism, prism again. And you don't need a lot of this. It goes a long way. That's about the, as much as I use. Just gonna tie that in. I don't want to go all the way to the eye. I want to have it back just a hair for the eyes. The eyes will be more up front. The gill will show right behind the eyes. So this is where I'll, I'll stop at this stopping point right here, so that I can do, you know, a bunch. You can whip out a ton like this, and you just put them to the side. Then when you're ready, you do the next stage, which is the flexi cord. The flexi cord I'm using is a quarter inch long. I mean, a quarter inch, just like not long, but quarter inch. And it's um, it's pearl, and you got to burn the ends of this. Just want to create a hump, and don't get crazy with the lighter because you can actually catch that material on fire. So when I got that where I want it back there, I'm gonna cut just a little bit off the front. Make sure you cut it straight. You can tell the eye is about right here, so that's about how much I'm using hanging off the front of the eye. Now go in there with your lighter and just touch it to where you're creating those, you're kind of, there's mono embedded in this cord, so it kind of heats up and balls up. So we're gonna start a little zapping gap right there. That kind of grabs your mono. Do a loose wrap, then when you, when you get it around it all the way, then I like to, I like to, 
push up on it like this, not sideways. Then you're gonna get this quarter inch cylinder foam. And I like a long pair of scissors so I'm not making a bunch of cuts. I just did two little cuts as far as, because you'll see all those slits in the foam. Now this foam is not the same length. It's a little shorter than the length of that, that hook. So I pulled the foam. Kind of flattens it too. I'm gonna go ahead and make a few turns here. And don't worry about this being really secure because you're going to put something underneath there to really secure it. But that Zappa gap, it goes right in between that flexi cord because it's hollow. Now this is probably the hardest part of the fly. Is um, <clears throat> I like to put the thread in my mouth because you got to have tension. So I'm going to slide that back. And do you see how that just catches it? Those little notches, it keeps it from slipping. I'm going to go around that thread one time. And then now I'm going to secure it. And that folded over is going to make that belly go down, which is pretty cool. See, this fly was pretty simple. I'm going to do a whip. Call it good. Probably cut that foam just a little bit. About like that. Now we're going to do the eyeballs. And I use that new glue, that solar res, where you hit it with that UV light. I think this stuff is great. It doesn't leave any tackiness. And it dries pretty quick. Because it's a gel form, you can do both sides. You don't have to do one side and then wait. You can just get it get it done right now with the glue. And I'm going to come in here with these Mirage eyes. Again, quarter. We're going to go ahead and stick these eyes on. Don't worry about getting them all perfect yet. That's where I'll get like the end of my whip finisher. I'll come in here and I'll kind of stick it. I'll push it down just a little bit. It doesn't take long either. It's already dry. Now this is why I like to uh, put a little dot of this solar as on the back and the front on top of that mono thread. Then I feel like the fly has got a little bit more durability. I'm going to heat that up. And there you go. Pretty cool fly. Last thing we got to do is cut these little notches. Pull that Arctic Fox out of the way and just kind of even it up with with the, with the top of your foam. Got to give Davey a lot in credit. This fly to me, though, seems like when it came out, which is, I would say, 15 years ago, didn't, I don't think there's a lot of social media and, and a lot of stuff out there for this to get the exposure. So I wanted to bring it back um, and, and go ahead and let everybody see this fly and tie it. It's, a, it's real simple and it's fun. So uh, if you click at the bottom of the screen, you will see a link to go to either purchase the fly as a single pattern. Um, later, we're going to build a kit, so be looking for that as well. But you can go ahead and purchase these at Flies and Guides under Warm Water uh, section under the Buy Flies category, or we'll have a link down here at the bottom of the, of the uh, video for you to go ahead and click and go purchase them. Thank you so much. We appreciate your business and support, and we will see you on the next video.